What's up everyone? This is M Hags Art and I'm back with another video. Today I will be flipping through my bullet journal, which I have been using for the past nine months. So January to September and it is completely full. So we will be flipping through that today. Um, and I've been using the Amanda Rachely dotted notebook. And if you'd like to see me doing a review of my experience using this notebook for nine months, I will be posting a full review of it in a few weeks or so. So definitely subscribe if you're interested in that. All right, so let's uh, waste no more time and jump right in with the flip through. So first there is a title page. I wrote my name for my yearly setup. I wanted to do something super simple because my goal this year was to make all of my themes based on my favorite TV shows and movies. So I knew that they were probably going to be a little more, you know, detailed and have a lot going on possibly. So I wanted my yearly setup to be super simple. And something else I like to do is I also like to make my yearly setup inspired by the cover of the bullet journal that I'm using. So because I have this gray notebook that has these silver doodly accents, that's what I wanted to recreate in my yearly setup. So I did a lot of gray, black, and then as you can see, I did some silver as well. So this was my cover and I did a quote from one of my favorite shows, Avatar The Last Airbender. This was, um, you know, back when uh, hope was something that I was really trying to find in such a dark time after uh, 2020. And obviously this year continued to be a big challenge for myself and I'm sure all of us as well. So hope was kind of my uh, word of the year, if you will. And so this quote just meant a lot to me and that's why I put that there. Then I had my goals page, which I separated into art goals and personal goals. I've been pretty good with my goal about uploading one YouTube video every month, but some of my other goals, I'll be honest, I've been slacking on. Um, like I said, it's been a tough year. I'm also in grad school and I work um, part-time, so it's, it's hard to find the time. And then I have an index that I never even finished and I ended up fitting more than six months in this journal anyway. So um, it's kind of just there now. <laughs> uh, I might go back and cover it. I have some extra pages at the end of the book and I might cut one out and put it over here and redo this so that it's like accurate and has all the months and stuff. So I just tried to drew, draw a little picture for each theme um, so that it kind of gave you a little preview. So. I do like the idea I might go back and actually finish this one day. Then I have a little 2020 favorites or 2021 favorites. I just like to write down um, all the things that I've been enjoying this year. And even though I'm moving to a new journal, some of these things I will go back and continue using even though it's in this journal. So I'm sure I'll fill out more of these as the remaining months of 2021 go by. As you can see, I still have a few quote spots open as well. Then I have a social media tracker. Uh, I just wanna give a shout out and say thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed on my YouTube channel. As you can see back in January, I started with 11 and as of August, we are at 45. So that's so awesome and exciting and I'm gonna be really excited once we hit 50. So thank you to everyone. And then I also have a little 2021 reading. My goal this year is to read 15 books. So I'm pretty on track with that so far. Then this is my year at a glance with all the calendars, uh, or I guess this is the future log technically. I didn't do a year at a glance. Um, I find it redundant to do a year at a glance and also have a future log when they both have calendars anyway. So yeah, so that's my future log. Pretty simple. All right, so for January, uh, the first month of the year, I just immediately wanted to do my favorite TV show of all time, which is The Office. So um, I did a super simple with the office sign, and then instead of writing The Office, I wrote January. 
I did one of my favorite quotes, which is from Pam and just some different doodles from The Office. If you watch a show, I'm sure you will recognize them. And then in the beginning of the year, I did a lot of important dates because um, I was lazy and I didn't want to do a calendar page, to be completely honest. Uh, so you'll see I'll do important dates and then I go to a calendar and then I kind of switch back. So basically I just go by whatever works for me that month. For uh, my mood tracker, I did like Pam's jelly bean jar. Apparently this was a pretty good month. I did a lot of green, <laughs> so that's good. And then my weekly, so each weekly I had based off of a different character. So um, yeah, this was Michael and he did, I did the Dundee, which I think turned out really cool. This is Dwight. And then there's Pam. And this one's Jim. I also really like how Jim's mug turned out. And then I always like to include a list of like what I've been watching, listening to, whatever it may be. Um, and then another thing I did was, since each theme is based off a TV show or movie that I love, I did my favorite things about that TV show and movie or movie. Um, so you can see I wrote things like what who my favorite characters are, what my favorite episodes, seasons, and then for The Office in particular, I wrote like Jim Pam moments, pranks, and then I always do a monthly review. I tried to do some like kind of puns, like employee performance review. I thought that was creative. I didn't really try to do that in any of the other months, which maybe I should have, but. <laughs> Then February uh, is Tangled, which is one of my favorite Disney movies. The Tangled, the series is actually great too, if you watch that. Um, this has been my most popular YouTube video, which is awesome. Um, I don't know if I would have thought it'd be my most popular, but I guess people love Disney and Tangled, which shouldn't have been surprising. Um, yeah, so last I checked, I think it was almost at like 900 views, which for me is like, insane. Thank you to everyone who has watched that video so far. Again, we have important dates where I write down what I've been watching and stuff, and my habit tracker, and then I went all out for the mood tracker this month. Uh, this took quite a bit of time, but I think it turned out pretty cute. I think if I were to go back, I would have um, switched around some of the colors. Like, I think I would have made this night sky black in the silhouette of the castle purple um and then i don't know i maybe would have chose a different color for the water like maybe a different purple or something i don't know um but you know it still turned out pretty cute and uh yeah that's all the lanterns these are my weeklies they're pretty simple i really liked this dutch door setup actually and i always think i should try it again but i just haven't for some reason but we have the ripped tangled paper um, I got from, I believe Joanne Fabrics a really long time ago. And so that just adds that little decorative aspect. Some goals, gratitude, an extra to-do list. And then, oh yeah, I, for, I forgot about this. For my favorites page, I did a little extra drawing of Rapunzel and Flynn. This is like literally like a two second moment from the movie. Um, but I thought it was such a cute little shot of them holding these cupcakes. So <laughs> wanted to recreate it in my journal. So there it is. And then my monthly review. March was Steven Universe. So this is probably one of my favorite cover pages, if not my favorite cover page. I'm just so happy with how this little landscape turned out. Uh, this is the laundry hand that you see at the beginning of each episode. And then, um, yeah, even the font is like Steven Universe font. So I thought that was turned out pretty good. Important dates, media, my favorites section with the cookie cat. I thought that was cute. Then we have my mood tracker, which I did all these different gems. And I guess pretty simple habit tracker at the top. And then some weeklies. These are actually paintings I did a really long time ago. And then I like randomly remembered them so I decided to cut them out and use them in my weekly spreads just to add a little more decoration. And then we have just another goals and a monthly review. 
April was Avatar The Last Airbender, which is another one of my favorite shows of all time. Even though it's one of my favorite shows, I had kind of a hard time pinpointing what I wanted the overall look of this month to look like. So um, finally I found this picture on, I believe, Pinterest. And that was kind of my inspiration. I took it from there. I went with a very simple color palette. I did this craft paper, which I love, and I'll use a couple more times throughout. And uh, of course I had to include some more Uncle Iroh quotes. So I don't know if this is Zuko or Luten, but I just thought this drawing was so cute. So this is my first time doing an actual calendar. I thought it might be helpful for um, la last minute, like, assignments and stuff I had in school so yeah I actually did a big calendar this month then I did a little spring cleaning list which I as you can see I didn't end up doing that much and then some more favorites oh I didn't even go back and finish some of these which is sad so I'll have to do that one day then my habit tracker super simple and then my mood tracker I loved this mood tracker it was the first time kind of doing a dial design like this. And uh, yeah, my inspiration was kind of like, it's a sun and Appa's flying in front of it from like Appa's lost days when he's flying through the desert looking for Aang and the gang. Then I did some weeklies. I did super simple um, one week per page weeklies, which I do find very useful. Um, because there are some times where I don't, if I do a whole weekly for the two pages, I don't end up filling out some days just because I have days where I'm less busy, obviously. Like, as you can see, I didn't even do anything there. Um, so I feel less guilty when I do it like this because then I feel like I fill up more space. But then there are days where, like this, as you can see, look at this day, where I was kind of running out of space. So I don't know. It's kind of um, a double-edged sword, you know. Then I did another quote page. I think originally I was going to make this part of my monthly review, but I just loved how it turned out so much that I was like, no, I don't want to ruin it with my ugly handwriting. <laughs> I'm going to put another quote here. Um, this one's actually, I think, technically from The Legend of Korra, but it is an Iroh quote and I do love it. So yeah, it's kind of sad because this is the Tales of Ba Sing Se moment. I, I really love how this drawing turned out. Then we had a quarterly review, which is technically not a quarterly review because I can't do math apparently. Because <laughs> uh, April's the fourth month. So if I wanted to do a quarterly review, I should have done it in March, but you know. <laughs> I never said math was my strong suit. Yeah, so I just kind of updated on my goals and like how I was doing, if I was on track or not. Um, I don't really know if this ended up benefiting me at all and I end up doing another one later and that one definitely didn't help me. Um, I kind of gave up on a lot of my goals this year because to be honest I've just been struggling a lot with my mental health and stuff so I've been kind of just focusing on that. And then another monthly review and as you can see my monthly review layout changes a lot. You know I started out with the mind body soul ranking a lot and then I kind of start adding more. I'm still playing around with the format that I like. May is Star Wars, as you can see. And uh, when I wanted to do a Star Wars theme, basically I just wanted to do the droids because they're my favorite. I think they're adorable. <laughs> so um, yeah, so they're on the cover there. And I did a smaller calendar this month. I did a little things to do this summer. I did end up doing more of these things, but Unfortunately, I couldn't really write over the silver gel pen. I thought I would be able to. So I didn't end up checking off some of these that I did end up doing. Um, this was the first time I did a word a day mood tracker and I actually really enjoyed it. And then I had a little section for gratitude. So I do do the one word a day mood tracker a couple times. Uh, this is probably my favorite habit tracker spread. Um, or one, at least one of them. Definitely in my top, I'd say two. Uh, I kind of just went for it and had this idea of doing the droids and I didn't sketch it out or anything and I just did it and I think it turned out really cute. I really liked how it turned out. Then I did some more super simple weeklies um, where we have two weeks on two pages. And then a favorites, which is kind of not that detailed because 
I didn't really know what else to write besides like movies, characters. I like Star Wars a lot, but I'm not like a super duper duper fan, so like some people. Um, so yeah, that's kind of basic. And then, yeah. So June was Schitt's Creek. And my thought process for this was just kind of keeping it simple, but also having like the pride flag colors. So we have the black and white for like the Rose family and some pride. And I have this Rose craft paper that I think worked perfectly with this month. Another small calendar. Started combining some of the stuff like the media, the to-do favorites. I never filled out this one either, apparently. Uh, I have to go back and fill out some stuff, but. Super duper simple weeklies here because it was summer, I didn't have a lot going on. I included some Schitt's Creek quotes. Another Schitt's Creek quote. I like to do just a whole quote page every once in a while. This is another habit tracker I do really like a lot, actually. It's super simple, but I just like how I used the craft paper as a border. Another one word a day. July was Rugrats. Um, I love this cover page too. This is probably another one of my favorites. It's just so fun. I think the drawings turned out great. So yeah, I love this one. Another small calendar. This drawing I thought turned out pretty cute too. I started using a content planner, which was pretty helpful. A little playlist spread, my first time doing that. I think I could have put a little more effort into it, but you know, it's fine. I love these pages too. I just love the Rugrats font that I used. And then sadly, I was trying to get more into working out and I was doing a pretty good job. And then sadly, I hurt my knee in the middle of July. And as you can see, working out um, took a back seat because I, I, I'm actually still recovering. So unfortunately, I'm not able to work out as much as I'd like. We have some more super simple weeklies with just a rolling to-do list actually, and then just a space for events and some Rugrats doodles. And then this mood tracker, just different shapes that kind of remind me of like that 90s aesthetic, coloring those in. August was Gravity Falls. This is another one of my favorites. Um, I just love how this cover page turned out so much. Maybe my second favorite besides the Steven Universe one. I don't know, it's a hard choice though because I also really like July. But I do love this quote page. This is probably one of my favorite quote pages even though I spelled reality wrong at first and I had to add the I in there as you can see. <laughs> but I think that just turned out so cool. We've got a big calendar page. My content planner right on the side here which I liked a lot. I might try to go back to that. This is another one of those habit trackers I really like. I just like, even though it's Simple in setup, I just love the um, water tower doodle next to it. And this is, I think, the first month I started keeping track of my sleep, which I've been really enjoying and I do every month now. I'm not a great sleeper, so. And then we got some simple weeklies, just rolling to-dos. I actually made this paper, so I just wrote a bunch of like messages on a piece of ivory-ish paper so that it looked like the journal from the show. This is where I did another goals update. I did this in the beginning of the month and I was very motivated <laughs> to get back to doing my goals that I haven't started yet. And then honestly, I just, I'm, I've kind of given up on it. And then September, so we're in the final month, and I wanted to do a Parks and Rec theme. It's another one of my favorite shows of all time. Um, and for some reason this month, I just really wanted to use my Zebra Mild liners. I don't know if this was the most successful, unfortunately, because I think Parks and Rec could have maybe gone with something more uh, simple. I think the bright colors was a choice that I made, but you know what? You live and you learn, not every spread is gonna be your absolute favorite. Not every theme is gonna be your absolute favorite. I did really like using the washi tape as like big decoration like this. I thought that added a nice pop of color. I didn't do too many doodles this month. I wasn't really in the mood to be honest. 
to do some quotes. My weeklies are pretty simple. I did have a little section at the end here for my favorites, which I did fill out this time. <laughs> and then another quote. And then this is a whole page of quotes. I really had fun doing this page and I would love to do more of these in the future. And then I have my media tracker, which I've just kind of been mimicking the look of this page, making all different colors, writing it kind of like graffiti everywhere. So that's what I've been doing this month. And then I have my gratitude and uh, a space for highlights. So some of my favorite memories so far. And then uh, my monthly review, of course. And then because this was the last month I fit in this notebook, I thought I'd do a little goodbye page and I also tied it in with Parks and Rec, of course. So I have Bye Bye Little Sebastian, which is the bop that Andy writes when, spoiler alert, Little Sebastian passes away. <laughs> that concludes the Parks and Rec months for September and I actually did have two pages left. So I'm pretty proud of using almost every single page in this notebook before moving to the next and one of these I might cut out and do that new index page so I might only have one free page at the end actually and that concludes my flip through for January through September um comment below if you'd like which month was your favorite I'd love to hear and if you enjoyed looking at all these months please consider subscribing I will continue doing my monthly themes based off of all my favorite TV shows and movies. So um, yeah, it should be a lot of fun to keep doing that. And I think I'm going to keep going with it also in 2022. You know, do the cliche, like, subscribe, comment below, all those things so that, uh, you know, the algorithm can work with us instead of against us. <laughs> All right, that is all for now. Thank you again so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.